Hi guys, in this short tutorial we're going to make pipes. So the first thing I'm going to do is press numpad 1, select the, the camera and the light, X delete, select the default cube, tab to go into edit mode, press 1 to choose vertex select, right click, merge vertices at center. Once you've done that, all you need to do is create your pipe. So currently we're in front orthographic view, so we can press E, can lock, press X to lock it to the X axis, E, Z to lock it to the Z axis, numpad 7 to be in uh, top orthographic view. You can press E, Y to lock it to the Y axis. Or you can, if you don't need that kind of accuracy, you can just press E and place, place it wherever you like. <clears throat> Once you've done all the placements, first thing you want to do is select all the vertices, Control Shift B, and you want to pull back and then you want to scroll with your mouse wheel and you want a substantial amount of vertices so that it looks nice and smooth that should be more than enough once you've done that you can press tab to go into object mode this is currently still a mesh we need to go to the object convert to curve now it's a different symbol it's a curve which is great now we're going to press numpad 7 to be in top orthographic view shift A and we're going to select a curve and we're going to use a bezier curve no delete not a bezier curve shift a we're going to use a circle that's the curve we're going to use because we want to create a pipe right so now i'm going to press numpad one and i'm just going to move this to the side yeah we'll work with that in a second i'm going to select uh this pipe over here go to the object data properties for this curve going to go to, to go to the geometry going to go to the bevel choose object and select the bezier circle and i'm going to right click shade smooth next thing i want to do is select the bezier circle which is over here and i can press s to scale this up or make it smaller and you can choose the thickness that you find appropriate for the experiment you're working on once you've done that you need to select your cube or your circle i guess object data mode convert to mesh and just like that you can delete this part here it's no longer needed but just like that you've created a pipe that is also good enough to use in a water simulation which would be our next tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe i almost forgot uh, another thing you can do is you can select your pipe you can go to the material settings you can add a new material and if you want to make this like glass it's very quick. All you need to do is reduce the roughness to zero so that it's shiny gloss. Increase the roughness so it's not shiny gloss. So, but normally roughness to zero. And then all you need to do is increase the transmission to one. And when you render this out, so let's quickly, before we render it, we need to add a camera. Shift A. Uh, we're going to choose a camera. And I'm going to find a spot where we can have a nice view of this. Like, yeah, Control, Alt, Numpad, Zero. Press G, just bring it into frame like that. I'm going to go to my render settings. I'm going to change it to cycles because cycles is better for rendering glass at this stage. And one thing I want to do is make sure that it's not in render, it's transparent. And just like that, last thing we need to do is add a light source because it's going to be way too dark to see anything. Numpad 7, Shift A, we're going to go find light. And we're going to choose sun. And I'm going to press numpad 1. I'm just going to just move this to the side so it's out the way. And you can rotate this, numpad 7, something like that. But you need to go to the object data properties for the light. And we want to change this strength to 15. And maybe make this an off-white, like a yellow off-white. Just so that it's a little bit warmer. Something like that. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click render image. And I'll see you once it's rendered. Right, so even though it's rendering and you can see it's glass, it's not a really a great example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the camera just to see the view. Okay, cool. I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh, and I'm going to choose a plane. I'm going to press S to scale this plane out. And I'm going to press Numpad 1. I'm going to press G. I'm going to press R. I'm going to go to the camera view. And that should be good enough for this demonstration and I just want to choose a color for this plane which will be new and <clears throat> I'm kind of happy with the settings as it is but let's just make it 
I don't know, that color. And uh, now all we need to do is render image, and I'll see you once it's rendered. And there you have it. For the sake of time, I'm just demonstrating that the glass works perfectly, and it works with light. I'm currently using a CPU to render, so everything is super slow, but you kind of get the idea. It's the perfect way to create pipes or glass pipes. Hope you had fun. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully this ends soon. It's at the end there. Let's just see how the end bit looks in comparison. It didn't look so nice without some sort of background for the light to bounce off of. But that's glass for you. Anyways, I hope you had a good one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.